Hi everyone, I'm Sarah Wall with your Fox 10 News Now update. A murder for hire plot out of Satsuma has a new defendant behind bars. 45 year old Jason Hill is in Metro jail after being extradited from Georgia and charged with capital murder for hire involving the death of Brent Allen. 49 year old Allen was gunned down in a parent's driveway on Bayou East in Satsuma in December of 2020. Two others also sit behind bars. 38 year old Jennifer Hudson also also booked yesterday morning and charged with capital murder for hire and 52 year old Wayne Beasley. Mobile County District Attorney Ashley Rich says Hill paid Beasley $2,000 to pull the trigger, shooting Allen six to nine times. Prosecutors say Beasley and Hudson are a couple and that Beasley drove over five hours from their home in Georgia several times to run surveillance before the fatal shooting. Now to the latest in a Fox 10 News investigation. Pritchard Water Board attorney Jay Ross says allegations that employees improperly charged more than a million in personal expenses to corporate credit cards is not related to customer complaints of overbilling. Ross rejects the notion that the allegedly improper credit card charges have jeopardized the utility's financial stability. But Mobile County District Attorney Ashley Rich says it's too early in her investigation to draw that conclusion. Conclusion. Fox 10 News has obtained a contract. The water board signed with former operations manager Nia Bradley, who's been accused of charging personal expenses to a corporate credit card. We have more on that on our website, fox10tv.com. Mobile Police Department busy over the weekend towing illegally parked cars. Police told Fox 10 News officers towed 40 cars and issued 86 parking citations. A tow truck driver says the key is making sure you avoid parking on the streets. I know everybody wants to have fun and every and the police want everybody to have fun, but they can't they can't park illegally and when they do it's just going to have to get towed. The cost to remove your car from impound is $150. The temporary impound lot is near Fort Condi at Royal Street and Monroe Street. The lot closes at 11 each night of the parades. If you don't pick up your car by 11, it'll be moved to the Police Department Training Academy on Virginia Street. You'll also have to prove the car is yours. You have to have a valid license and insurance. The next parade of the season is Thursday. The Order of Polka Dots is set to roll at 630. And then on Friday, the Order of Inca will roll at 630 for the full parade schedule, you can head to our website, fox10tv.com. I'm meteorologist Michael White with your Fox 10 Storm Tracker report. The radar dry and after a pretty good looking weekend where we had highs in the 70s on Saturday and then a bit of a chill yesterday on Sunday, things look like they're going to be starting off pretty good and pretty quiet for this Valentine's Day Monday. No chance of rain, only a few fair weather clouds. The sky predominantly sunny and temperatures will be warmer than yesterday. Yesterday, most spots topped out in the mid 50s. Today, we will get back into the low 60s, but the morning hours for your Valentine's Day will be a cold one. So remember, you and the kids need to grab the jackets before you leave the house. Weather headlines for your Monday. It is a cold start out there this morning with most spots below freezing. We will see a perfect Valentine's Day afternoon with sunshine and low 60s. And then as we look ahead, strong storms are possible in here on Thursday. That is going to be the day with potential active weather on the Gulf Coast. But for the next 24 hours, we are going to see nothing but a cloudless sky for the morning. A few fair weather clouds in the afternoon and evening and no major issues between this morning and tomorrow morning. Here is how the next seven days stack up. We go from the low 60s today to the mid 60s tomorrow, back up to almost 70 on Wednesday, and then we get a powerful cold front to roll in Thursday, and that's when we have a big chance of rain and storms and the potential for strong storms to approach the Gulf Coast. Then we go drier and cooler for Friday and the weekend. Highs will drop back to the mid 50s Friday. Mornings will slip back into the 30s. Weekend weather for now looking pleasant with sun and clouds and highs in the mid to low 60s. We'll keep you up to date on your weather throughout the day right here on Fox 10 News Now.